So going into this season, obviously last year was a little disappointing as far as Geico. Yes. Um, so going into this season, Geico is one of the goals. Yes. What are the goals that you have for the team this year? I mean, I mean, it's Geico every year. Mm -hmm. Is Geico Nationals that you know every year we're blessed to be in the NIBC. I do believe it's the best conference in America in terms of high school basketball. Uh, great teams, uh, you know, Montverde loaded. Uh, I'm just so sick of always getting beat up every year by Montverde. So, you know, this year you know we got them to start off the season in Utah uh, on the 22nd of November. But the goal is this year, not just only to make Geico, we have to win it. And I think we got some great pieces this year. You know, you got Kylins coming back, you got Mookie Cook coming back. You know, we added him Zayden High, you know, you got Farrell Compton doing his thing. You know, you uh, Ray Von Griffith doing his thing. You know, we got the young kid, Chris, um, you know, Riddle, you know, that played for last year. Uh, so, you know, we got some pieces, right, uh, that we really, really like and that we feel really, really good about. Uh, and, you know, I, I think this is a year, you know what I mean? I think we got, you know, we got shooting, we got rebounding, we got some size. You know, we got B.J. Miller, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know how the heck I, that never came out. That was one of the first names, but we got B.J. Miller. You know, you talk about a 6'6 kid that can play anywhere on the perimeter, you know what I'm saying? Very skilled, you know, as another kid that got the potential to be an NBA guy. So the way that we're going about putting this team together, myself and Coach Gibson and our staff, you know, we're, we're excited, you know, we're excited. Right. So being that you do have all these big names, he asked about uh, balancing the, you know, with the NILs being added in. How do you balance all these personalities? These you know, that, personalities. That's, the, that's the number one thing, bro. Yeah. We spent two months yeah. checking egos at the door. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we know that you might lose a kid or two or a family or two. But it's okay because it's all about the culture, you know what I'm saying? And the culture is about getting you prepared for college. Because when you go to college, you're playing with another five-star. You're playing with another All-American. Or you're playing with somebody that was a top scorer in their state. When you go to the NBA, you're playing with the number one player in that class. Yeah. So if you can't understand that you got to play with great players to be successful, then you should find another sport. Find an individual sport, golf, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Something like that. But I think... You know, Coach Gibson is a, is a uh, man of God, you know what I'm saying? And, and he cares about these kids. He pour a lot into these kids. And all of our coaching staff, we speak the same language. So if you come there, I mean, first of all, like I said, we spent all summer trying to evaluate who's the right individual to go after. So uh, you definitely got to check your ego at the door. If you can't hit Val, if you can, uh, that might be an issue. Uh, so, but we do a good job checking that the first couple months. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, our talk with Coach Mendez, yeah. he definitely pushed watching film. He actually said when he first met the staff, they were watching film. Yeah. He said that's what drew him to the program. How important is watching film to you? It's important. You got to be a coach when it, you know. What I'm saying the reason why we're able to call timeouts and tell you what you're doing right, you're not doing right because you're able to watch the game. So when you have your free time, like I tell kids, 99% of everything you do starts with the mental. So if you can't educate this right here, you're, you're, you're a vegetable, you know what I'm saying? You have all the athletic ability, so it starts with the film. You got to understand who you're going against. You got to understand your strength by watching who you are. You got to be on the same page as the coaching staff when we're like, hey, man, you're not making this read right. You know, yeah, it's on a pick and roll. The lift guy is wide open. You got to hit him every time, you know what I'm saying? So I think knowing your situation before getting on the court, knowing what you're getting into before you hop, step on the court, I think really matters. And we try to educate our guys because in college, you have it's mandatory. You have to watch film. You know what I'm saying. In the NBA, it's even worse. You know what I'm saying. So you have to watch film. So with us, is you gotta watch film in August. That's his role. We brought him on staff just to watch film and do player development. And I think feel like we got a, a steal in that in that guy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this be my last question yes, for sir. you. If you can give me three to five things that you would tell any player. Um, going into a program like yours, like this is what we're looking for if you want to come to AZ Compass. you like three to five things. I mean, we're looking for, you got to be a competitor. You got to be willing to be a great teammate. You got to be coachable. You know what I'm saying? And then obviously, you got to be a hard worker. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like those things are so crucial. If you're not willing to put in the work, last year we had to send a kid home because he wasn't putting the uh, necessary work. I mean, if you have access to a gym 24-7, you have trainers that are ready to, and you're talking about you want to be a pro and you're not trying to put in the work, man, it's not compatible. You got to figure something else out. If you're not willing to listen to coaches that 
has proven they got NBA guys in the league, you know what I'm saying? Like with Josh Primo, not Tata and Jabari, you don't want to listen. And then why are you come? Why are you here, here? You know what I'm saying? So you've got to be able to listen. If you can't be a great teammate, if you're not willing to, you know, open up and help your teammate or be a great teammate or again, you know, getting your teammate better, holding your teammate accountable, like, first of all, this is not the right sport for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and my thing is you got to be coachable. You know, you got to trust in your team. You know what I'm saying? Your, your coaches. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust in your teammates or whatever. There's going to be times. This might not be your night. Are you willing to sit your butt on the bench and be a good teammate? Because not every night is going to be your night. We've seen Curry go one for 12 or whatever. We've seen Curry came back from injury. He was on the bench cheering and everything. Are you willing to be a good teammate? You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to be coachable? If you're not coachable, like it's a million kids in this world, you know what I'm saying? We know if you're not coachable at the NBA level, you're going to be out of there. If you're not coachable in college, you're going to be in the be transfer portal. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with us, too. You know what I mean? And, then, and if you can't figure it out how to gel with us, you know what I mean? It's a lot of other schools. Our way is not the only way, but we're one of the ways that, you know, that we're doing things. So. Thank you so much for your time. We yes, really sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir, man. Yep. Appreciate y'all.